say, is there a swear jar? <laughs> I apologize to the guys that were there yesterday. I don't know. Uh, it just came out, and uh, just it is what it is. But right. I did, I did say, please excuse my language. Then. There's, there's no, there's nothing from the league about coaches swearing on uh, TV. Or why? Well, you know what? I don't think, you know, it wasn't a calculated uh, anger. It just came out, and I'm sure my kids will make me put some money into the swear jar. Uh, what's the? Um, I mean, the group hasn't gotten out to the start. You want that clear? Yeah. What is your level of concern about the overall quality of play you've seen so far? Well, we, we haven't been uh, pleased with our our consistency, certainly. I think there's been spurts here and there, uh, but we've been in, in and out competitively. And uh, we know this league, it doesn't matter um, what city you're going into, you got to be have a certain standard to play towards. We haven't done that consistently enough. We're open about it, we're aware of it, we're honest about it, and um, we're looking to take steps. Um, I think there, uh, there's a lot of room for improvement, but we also know that um, the necessary pieces to make sure it gets taken care of are in our room. We just have to execute at a better level and get, get uh, more people up and running and contributing uh, to us moving forward. What does Evan Bouchard have to do better defensively? Um, you know what, I think for for him, his game begins with his puck movement. So I actually think he can move pucks a little bit uh, at a uh, sharp, sharper rate than he has so far. And that's not something I wouldn't tell him personally. I, you know, I believe that. I think that's where his confidence comes from, is, is puck moving ability. Um, I think there's some situations, like with everybody on our team, Ev Evan's not alone in that situation, where we can, we can be harder in some certain situations. Um, but, you know, for us, I think he's somebody that, when he's feeling at his best, it starts with the puck movement. Um, sometimes you see you have to outwork the other team. Is it more so that you just have to match their work ethic and you have more skill than the other team? Well, I would say that uh, one of the hallmarks of our team here, one of the hallmarks of our city, is a certain type of blue-collar work ethic. And uh, it's something that we embrace here in this organization. As I said earlier, um, it's not for a lack of try or anything like that. It's just I think we've been in and out with it. and. Uh, for us to find success, no matter the month of the season, uh, no matter the building you're playing in, you can't be in and out competitively. Yeah, there has to be a level of consistency um, that you can rely on day in, day out. And we ha we're not there yet. It doesn't mean we're not getting there. Um, we just have to make sure we're taking steps in the right direction. If we do that, we think the results take care of themselves. Connor and Leon set a really high, you know, expectation level for themselves. Yeah. Past performance. What have you seen from them in the early going? Um, you know, last night I didn't think it was a great game for our team. I didn't think game one was a great game for our team. I think there's been good moments for both of those players. Um, you know, I don't worry about the numbers or the power play. I think there's just certain moments in games where we can. Um, collectively as a team be a whole lot better. Those have been addressed. Uh, as I said, I think we're a work in progress. We're nowhere near where we need to be just yet. How's your uh, bench energy? Like, you know, when things maybe don't start well, what are you sensing on the bench? Is it any different from last year? Has there been a lull at all? Or what do you sense there? Uh, no, I don't, I don't see any uh, lull in bench energy. I think where we're at in the life stage of our team we understand that you know we're a shot away or two shots away if we get down no one likes to uh, to be down a goal early or, or in the first period um but it's the nhl other teams do good things as well uh we think we have the right people to solve problems and um you know the bench energy has been fine for me it's uh it's about maintaining that level of competition that for us through four games has been in and out. Talking to the players and yourself over the last couple of days, certainly not hitting the panic button at all. And I don't want to call it a wake up call, but do you perhaps see this as an opportunity for a spark to kind of maybe springboard off of? Yeah, yeah, I think, um, you know, no one, 
in in our city no one in our organization would have said that they wanted to start the year one in three on the results side um, but it is what it is and our record is what our record is so we have an understanding of that uh, we want to make sure that we're working to rectify it the terminology that we would have is that we want to attack this opportunity it is an opportunity uh, I think when there's adversity or adverse conditions, that's what draws people nearer to each other. So it's an opportunity to do that. In the end, it's, a, it, it's uh, the time right now to take a look at all aspects of our game, um, both individually and collectively, address them and uh, take steps to move forward. Uh, we know you won this record since you entered the league uh, as an NHL head coach, and but you guys still have had to face some adverse situations along the way. In your experience, what's your confidence level at for this leadership group to get you out of this? 100% confidence in our people, um, in our process. Uh, I still think our process can be better, but um, you know, I, I believe in our people, I believe in our process. And I believe it's a matter of time here before you see some sustained growth in our team. And that's what we're working towards. So you only have 12 forwards. In the past, you maybe had a couple extras where you could reel somebody in. Yep. Is that more difficult for you, or is it something new to you where you only got 12 forwards, so they're playing every game? Yeah. Well, you know what? I think it's something we had to deal with last year as well, so I had a little experience with that. I worry about... Uh, Things that are within my control, that's not within my control. Uh, it's just part of uh, us uh, in the things that we have to deal with in a salary cap world. I think there's different ways to uh, hold people accountable uh, in terms of uh, you know moving the chess pieces around the chess board. Um, but you know, we're quite comfortable with the 12 forwards. And that we have. You sat a young player, Berger, last game to get yep. Vincent in. Yep. Do you have to weigh that? You, you really want to see if Goldberg can be yeah. regular, but to take him out because Vinny, you need Vinny in the lineup. Is it difficult for a coach to do that? Yes. Yeah. And you know what? I think Phillips played well here uh, at times um, during this young season and in preseason as well. I would say that um, you know we're resolved to not let anybody die on the vine, uh, so to speak. Not let them go months without playing hockey games. Uh, for us, we understand that over a long season there's going to be injuries and you want to make sure people are, are kept involved. Um, there's different ways to do that. Last night we chose uh, going into Philadelphia an organization and building um, that has a long history of certain attributes to their game. We decided to put um, Vincent DeHarnay into that lineup. I thought he, he did some good things for us. Uh, but it was not a reflection on, on Philip at all. It's just more about keeping people involved, knowing uh, the challenges ahead in an 82 game schedule. And is there anything new with Sam in terms of going to the minor? Uh, not just yet. Nothing, nothing to report. He was out there. He had a good practice today. Still getting uh, up and running uh, off of his surgeries. And, you know, he's putting good days on top of good days. So that's a good sign for him.